gonna do is get a dry rub and put it all over that chicken, pop the chicken down onto the beer, throw it in the oven, and let it crisp up and get nice and juicy. Okay. Right now, look at that. Now, what I did is I washed it out. When I'm using this whole chicken, I went and washed it out with some cold water, and I patted it dry, so I took some of the moisture out of it because it's not gonna really be able to get the crispy skin if it doesn't have some of the moisture out, okay? Now, what I wanna do is take this skin and get underneath it with my fingers and kind of separate it from the meat a bit. I don't want to tear it off. I don't want to put holes in it because the skin staying around, it kind of keeps the moisture of the meat inside the chicken. So I'm going to grab a little bit of this dry rub and get it up underneath there, okay? Now I'm going to try to work my fingers down as far as I can into the chicken, trying to get down here into the thigh and into the drumstick and move that around. Now, when it starts to cook, especially with some, some help of that bacon fat, it's gonna end up moving some of these flavors down there by itself, but if I can help getting it down there, why not? So around there, I'll hit a little bit on the back, okay, get up underneath, and if it doesn't go exactly right, don't sweat it, it's not too much of an issue. Okay, there we go, and then I'm gonna take the rest of it and kind of shake it in the cavity of the bird because that's where a lot of times you'll see stuffing of turkeys and birds goes right in the cavity, okay? There we go, excellent. All right, now it's time for the beer. Now what I'm gonna do is pop the top on this bad boy and pour about half for me because I am the chef and I do enjoy it. And the other half, well, I'm gonna be stuffing that inside the cavity of the bird. Now to fortify the flavor a little bit, I'm gonna hit it with a couple garlic cloves. And this would be a great time if you wanted to hit it with garlic cloves or if you wanted to hit it with some lemon or some peppercorns. I'm gonna pop that down. And the reason we do half the beer is because when it's in the oven at 325, it's gonna start spilling out a little bit and we don't wanna have this big volcano. So now we take this, we grab the bird, and we start to put it down. Check it out. Now a little bit of the bacon. I cut the bacon in half, and what I'm gonna do is start to stick the bacon down into the cavity of the neck of the bird like this. And this is gonna work for flavor. Now the reason I didn't salt the bird is because there's so much salt in this bacon itself. Okay, so we get that down, nice smoky flavor. Wrap that around a little bit, and we'll do a little bit more on this side, about one third down in and about two thirds out. Grab a few of these toothpicks just to kind of secure it a bit. Look at that, it looks kind of like a clown suit. Decorated bird, okay. Here we go, pop that through. Bad boy goes on a pan that I can put in the oven. Let me get this out of my way. Need to wash up. Now what's gonna happen is I've got it in the oven right now. It's gonna go in the oven at about, uh, about 425 and then I'm gonna lower it down to about 325 and let it finish out for about an hour or until it hits uh, about 165 degrees. Okay, there we go. Now what I love about this is this is like a vertical roast. You know a lot of times you go into a restaurant and you see that chicken on the rotisserie going around. Well what happens is it cooks evenly all the way around the chicken. You know a lot of times when you've seen cooking a chicken in a pan in the oven that it gets kind of like that soggy side. Well this vertical roast that we got going right here is gonna keep that from happening. Nice, wow that's hot. Bye bye bird.